Today we're gonna try something a little different. First, I need a drink. Here he Today we're gonna rate the pizzas from only the drunk point of view. Because I mean, that's the only point that matters, really. I need to be critical and confident for the best results possible. Earlier today, I had the box of Hungry Howie's uh, for tonight's episode, but after a series of uh, very unfortunate events, the box is now destroyed. The reason I bring up the box is because it says, your taste buds are in for a treat. Your taste buds are going to thank you later. Something like that. Regardless, the box is in a better place and uh, the pizza's still good. It's still fun. Uh, I cannot emphasize that enough. The pizza is still okay. Maybe I can emphasize that with another drink. Ah, my uh, Stay in school, kids. <coughs> Stay in school. So since there is no more uh, sober review part of the, for the uh, radical piece of moment, I believe uh, this time is really just spent uh, taking shots and commenting weird things on other people's YouTube channels. Really, that's, that's, that's it. If you're sometimes if you're sometimes wondering why they're a little yellow. I'll admit it. Put a little bit of the energy drink in here. Call me a bitch. I mean, for an accurate description, we've really got to dive into the bottle. We've really got to dive deep down. Well, where I am currently at, the weather's pretty warm. Uh, the the heat can really get to you when you're wearing a wooly Santa hat. But it's all in the spirit of Halloween. Or is it in the spirit of Christmas? Regardless, things are really heating up. If you were wondering, yes, I did cut my hair. Thank you. Thank you for noticing. I thought my Santa hat um, covered it. But no, yes, I, I got a dramatic haircut yesterday. Thank you. Uh, this one looks like it has a lot of energy to drink in it. Sorry. <laughs> yes, it still tastes like shit. And what I was trying to say in the last sentence was shiitake mushrooms. Not the cheapest mushrooms on the market. Regardless, Today is the Cheese Hungry Howie's Pizza I am trying. It has Cajun crust, just because I like spice, I like fire, I like as much spice as you can possibly give. However, as I said, the box was destroyed, so I can't show it off in its full magnificence. Paid about, uh, about $11 for the extra large pizza, which isn't bad considering they gave me a free medium pizza Along with it, two pizzas for eleven dollars doesn't seem bad at all. I am joined here with a hot, warm piece of Hungry Howie's Pizza. Taste stings the nostrils, almost like a delicate. If I cannot make it an analogy for this pizza, the job is being done wrong. So, one whole shot right now. Holy crap, I am on edge. I hope you all enjoy my mug. I'm not going to forget the mug, but you might as well forget it. Regardless, here we are, this beautiful afternoon, uh, trapped inside what seems like the constraints of evil, and we're about to try a Hungry Howie's Pizza that is steamed to perfection. Um... Hot pizza review. Wow. 
Whew. Whoa, Nelly. That tastes like heaven meets space. It has the coolness of space with the power of heaven. What does that mean? Imagine clouds in your mouth. Like, I eat this pizza and the first thing I think off the top of my head is I can relate. I can relate to that. Whoa, boy. This pizza, this pizza makes me want to bust out into a 360 just jazz festival marionette fight on the ground with a stick fending off a predator. I am all about this. But I can't wait till I get the crust. Honestly, the crust stings the taste buds slightly. Almost like an array of firecrackers down my tongue. Not bad. Let's get down to business. This is radical to me. To you, you're like, I understand. However, we have the frozen pizza yet to try. And I feel like that's kind of radical. And remember kids, dot your eyes because my name has an eye in it. And if you don't dot your eyes, it drives me wild. To the good times and the bad times. And by demon, by demon, I mean vodka. <laughs> All right, we're here joined with the frozen. As you can see, it's a, it's like a narwhal's horn. It is straight as, regardless, this pizza is pretty frozen. Um, you understand just. Nope. Tastes like I was the runt of Santa's sleigh, eating the slush flung into my mouth. That is what this tastes like. It's a bit of a slurpy mixed with a bad time. I just realized I did not rate last uh, the last pizza I ate for hot. That's a bummer. Realistically, the hot would have at least got a 9.2. Very high. If you're wondering about this frozen piece here, I would honestly call this a 6.8. Regardless, Santa would prob probably whip me to death <laughs> with a whip. But it's only a 6.8. The molecules and the fibers are forming the spikes and stabbing my mouth into what seems like a bloodbath of taste. Good or bad? Obviously good if I'm rating a 6.8. Duh. For now, we are trying the normal pizza. You know, I love room temperature pizza. So this is almost the most critical aspect of a pizza for me. Tastes like several snakes have slithered their way into my mouth, making my taste buds react like dynamite on a hillside. This pizza is fantastic. But in all reality, let's get down to business, son. I felt like I needed that for inspiration. Imagine a pendulum swinging in front of your eyes. The contrails are just extraordinary as if you're tripping out on mushrooms. You're like, holy shit. That is what this pizza is doing to my taste buds. A little bit of the bottom crust tastes a little bit like a sand at the ocean. So your best friend pushes your face into the sand and makes you cry. He's probably not your best friend. This is this taste is like after you rob a bank and it comes up successful. You're not caught by the cops, but at the same time you have the guilt in your heart. That is what this pizza tastes like. It is like a man at the Thai food diner has whipped me in the neck 
at full force as a whip. And as it hit my neck and I fell on the floor, he said, You pay your bill now! So, I mean, at the same time, it's good. But there's a struggle deep beneath. I rate this pizza an honest 9.3. Am I being uh, critical? Not really. This tastes fantastic. It's like a bit of a multicultural taste in this pizza. It just tastes great. Tonight I will be also rating a, another pizza. And, um... No, I will not be answering any questions from the last video. The only question I'll be answering before we go is, was it worth it? Very much so. A very, very good pizza for tonight. I rate it thumbs up. Good job. My name is Hollywood. And I'll see you later on my next Puzzle Review.